Perfect conditions for Saturday night footy as the Chiefs travel to Christchurch to take on the Crusaders at AMI Stadium. And the Chiefs have had joy in this matchup. Three of the last four at AMI Stadium, they have walked away victorious. Always going to be a tough game, this. Let's go to the first half and look at the action. Now Kerbalo coming down just in Chiefs territory and a good contest is won again by Sioux who continues to impress Play off the and Kerbalo gets it off it goes to Lowe McKenzie into some wide open spaces here and he'll be hoping it doesn't go to the goal line Avili confronted by Stevenson oh he stole it stole it away Sean Stevenson scores the try oh yes <laughs> It's a big scrum too. It's a really big scrum. And it's an advantage as Reed gets it away. And they get a score through Richie Moanga. And it was all about the scrum. Yeah, so 13-8 at half time. As we said, it was going to be a tense affair always and very close spell in that first half. Both teams with chances. The message from the Chiefs at half time is hold on to the ball for the Crusaders. Work on the accuracy. Let's have a look at how both teams managed in the second spell. Well, that's diving over the top of the ball was uh, Andy Ellis. Now Manu finds himself in a handy little gap as Kerbalo goes again. Short pass to Mani Valu. To Mani Valu stretching. Crusaders throw it to Reed. Now they're going to work it to the back. Taufur. He's got players behind him. He hasn't shuffled that to the back as they go to the line. I have to agree with that. I don't know whether that was entirely legal. Anyway, Ponotia has it. Still playing and advantage. he gets overwhelmed. He's playing advantage the Crusaders way. Can you believe that? And here's an opportunity and a try. As Weber swings it wide. Nato hands a man off. Gets it away again for Leonard Brown. He's strong. Five metres away. Not held, so win again. Now Weber goes again. McKenzie! Boy, there's some big tackles went in there, and they've gone short. The Chiefs are driving around the front, and they've scored! So full-time, and it is the Chiefs. Big injury break in the middle of that as well to Reed Princip, who was taken to hospital tonight. So a big break with about 11 minutes remaining in the half. Who knows how much that had an impact on both sides. Let's have a look at the score and scorers then. And as you can see, it was the Chiefs all the way in terms of tries with Stevenson, Cruden, McKenzie and Kane scoring for the away side. Mwanga and Harvelli scoring tries for the Crusaders and the kick stats there as well. It really was a day for Damien McKenzie who really lit up AMI Stadium this evening. So there it is, 27-21 final score. Chiefs come out on top.